The completion of the Human Genome Project 10 years ago promised a new era of disease treatment and personalized medicine. Tremendous advances have been made, but there is still some confusion between scientific fact and fiction. Take the following quiz to see if you can pick out the genetic myths. Your health, appearance, and destiny are rooted solely in your DNA. Myth. A host of environmental factors influence how much a genetic predisposition will actually be expressed in a person's phenotype or outward form and appearance. What we inherit from our parents and what we pass on to our children isn't the end of the game. There are racial genes. Myth. The problem here is the definition. What is a race? In the case of skin color, there are many ways genetically to have black skin or white skin. When scientists look at the human genome, they see patterns that are reminiscent of separation of groups of people. But these are historical artifacts and are never complete. Human traits and behaviors such as criminality, infidelity, intelligence, and social networking are all based on genetics. Myth. Many environmental factors shape these traits and behaviors. Sometimes there's a genetic component to someone's intelligence or sociability. Autism, for example, renders people very poor at socializing. But a genetic component does not mean a single gene. You're looking in a big haystack for a needle that's not there because there will never be one gene for determining intelligence or sociability. So far, research in molecular genetics has unlocked many mysteries of basic human biology, but it has proved to be just one of many possible high-tech tools that show substantial benefit to those unfortunate few who have rare genetic disorders, but less direct near-term benefits to the rest of us. Perhaps that will change with new discoveries to come. Our collective challenge is to ensure that as biotechnology development does continue, as it inevitably will in directions we cannot even begin to anticipate, the public needs informed and unbiased coverage of both its successes and failures. Only by so doing can we steer biotechnology development toward the advancement of public health in the United States and around the world.